does have a place in our lives, whether we want it to or not. What we're, what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, show you a little bit about this dream, this collective dream that has, that has uh, surely yet slowly come true for us. When I set out in 1994 to tr attempt to collect as many testimonies from the participants, the witnesses uh, 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 to the Holocaust from all around the world, I, I had only one goal, and that was if everybody would speak to us and tell us their stories, maybe this would contribute in teaching tolerance to people who would have an opportunity to hear their testimonies someday. There were things in that house for over 150 years which belonged to the family. The snow was on the ground when we came out of our hiding place. And I remember the snow being all pink and red. Sylvie and Paula. Hi, and Bert's son, come on up. And Saul. Thank you. And uh, these, these are truly my heroes. The work you've done here uh, is that education. Uh, as you know, that we, we, we see uh, tragedies taking place today. And, the other, you know, goal now is to get this information into the school systems and get faculty, you know, to approve this, to say this is good, this is beneficial, and this coupled with uh, teaching about, about slavery, black history, you know, you know, homosexual discrimination, teaching about Native American genocide, if, you can, if, if this all becomes, you know, about teaching tolerance, then I, hopefully you're going to see you know, our children, my own children and their children, a lot more tolerant of the differences that we all share living in this world together. So how did Leonardo Leonardo get involved in the project and were you involved in the We are a dying species. We are dying. In 20 years from now, there won't be a hawk that survives our lives to tell the story. Therefore, I feel I have a responsibility to do that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.